My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood on your hands. <laughs> They're coming for you now. waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you bowed from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbel, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? and it will take She 
she escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. If only you had done the same, the world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senua look at me do you hear that Calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Simba was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us?
Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to us. That's it. Shall Shouldn't we tell it. her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? Look up. So clever. Did you miss us? Oh, she did. It's There's a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Senua. Go away. I'm not listening. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. What is it? She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. No, go in. Don't open the door. What's it? Get back. Great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you save Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here.
fooled. They're still here. Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. So full of hate. It's a trap. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. I want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? She'll have to go under. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. The torch will go out. There's light in the distance. She has to keep going, go towards the she light. She can do it. She can't do it. The light's gone out. Run! Run! Get through it as quick as you can! The panic is here! What was that? Oh. <laughs> 
You have it. Keep going. Where's the next? Two more to find. I can feel them. Two more to find. Why are you doing this? These pointless Time. We will find our signs. The symbols are pointless. They're meaningless. Your mother's here. What if you collect them and there's nothing behind the door? Save Dillian. This is just another trial. It's just another trick. Just a distractor and a real mission. No, but you don't. Your mother is true. You don't know anything. Or she. And Dillian is dead.
can't go anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. She escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? It's a trap. The beast is coming. Stupid <laughs> Run away
It's the end. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. Pointless even trying to retrieve it. She's got to go deeper to find the head. Deeper towards the darkness. The beast is there. The beast is there. Deeper, deeper into the darkness. Deep, deep down. The beast has the head. The beast has the head. Rian the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian will forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death. But Sigurd's mother still has the pieces, and so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir. And she'll die. <laughs> What's she doing? She's lighting the torch. She's making light. She's so making a fire. So She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's her plan? What's she thinking? Is she going to get there? Guiding flame in a world so black. The 
longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men and every man would want to be wealthy until that night. And he takes the treasure. Go Keep the torch up. Keep the torch up.
people think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this, it was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. But without it, I fear you would have let those slack. All this time I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the mountain to trust you as deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. People will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. She did it. 
This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship Dead will set sail.
the Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash. Trolls will walk the land. Men will tread the road to hell. And the heavens will split open. wolf would be killed, but his son will avenge him and plunge his sword into the heart of the beast. Freyr will face Surt, but he had given his sword away for love, and without it, he cannot defend himself against the flames. Thor will smite the Midgard serpent to no avail. The sun will grow black, the earth will sink into the sea, the stars will disappear, fire and water will meet, steam will shoot up, flames will play against the sky, the heavens and earth and all the world will be burned. All the gods will be dead, and the warriors of Valhalla and the people everywhere. Senua, prepare yourself for Ragnarok, for it is nigh.
happens when she dies? What happens to me when she dies? You die too. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It's time to die. Stop silence. <laughs> if she sacrifices us. Wait. <gasps> what? What happens when she dies? What happens to us? What happens to us? We die too. Do we die too? We I die too. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. We'll all die someday. I don't, I don't want to die. die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. I don't want to die. We don't want to die. Stop. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. stop. Turn Senua. back. Stop. Stop her. Stop. Senua, stop. Stop. Why would she stop to die? She won't stop. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. 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 You'll never come back if you go there. There is nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. They were right about me. Send them. Listen to me. Not them. They were afraid. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you, too. You understand, son? Oh, 
madness. I was just a child. You created this darkness! You created this darkness so you could hide behind it! Only suffering brings salvation. It is the way of the gods. It was all a lie. You are a lie! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandoned you. You tortured her. You killed her. You are the darkness. here. 
Dillian, I know you're here. Hold on. I'll find you.
echo of your battle. You're killing yourself. Deceive me! But I know it. I know you have him! I'll give you my life. That's what you want, isn't it? My soul. Take it! I'll be a... I'll be a slave for you. I'll fight with you at Ragnarok.
no power over me. I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death, so... Because a life without loss... is one without love. You turn your back on death... and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from our darkness. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Senua. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean. Only to return to the sea. of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. Wait, 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 what is it? it 
This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. My friend. Go with her. This now will be your story to